If you can't tell by my last video, I've been using GIMP a lot to take my mind off things. Yeah, I guess you could call it using art therapy as a drug. <laughs> okay, now my last video, I took the red pill. Really like this picture. But, uh, See, I've got a lot of white rock. Can't see it, but there's a brick background. This is what it looked like from a side view. The white petals were really messing with the settings on the brick background. Which is okay. I actually ended up with a very nice effect uh, taking out all the background. So... I kind of looked through them all. I shot it about five times. Trouble with this flower, it only opens once a year. And it's always best in the morning. <laughs> but this one actually gave me some nice color inside the flower. So let's uh, use this one. What I'm going to do is open it in GIMP. Okay, here we have it. Yeah, I'm gonna give this an alpha channel. Doesn't really, doesn't really need it, but I'll do it anyway, just in case. And always duplicate your original. Now here, I would either go to levels, but for time. Constraints, I'm going to use saturation. You've seen me use those in the past. And I'm just going to pop up the saturation. It's really bringing out the colors in the back petals. Only trouble is this yellow from the flower is starting to bleed over into the petals. So I'm going to drop that back just a bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. So click OK. Now what I'm going to do, overlay is going to bring out a lot of the lighter colors, darken the dark, dark colors, and bring a little more color to it. Now, I don't want to lose the work I've done, so I'm going to come over to Layers, New from Visible. And we're going to try to get rid of, even out all the stuff that isn't the flower. Okay, what I'm going to start out by doing is uh, clone out the where the gravel was in the light. So we're going to come over here and click on the little clone tool, which is the camera. And I'm going to want a pretty big brush for this. Let me hide my toolbox. And I'm going to hold down the control key that's going to select things. And all I got to do is paint over the top of it. As you can see, I caught a bit of the flower, so I'm just going to click that. Go over to this side. Yeah, did it again. And I want to be careful around the petals.
big problem when you're working in a large area. It's easy to run onto the parts that you've already worked on. Okay, let's zoom into this area now. Hit the magnifying glass and select the area. I can actually see a lot of mistakes I made. Clonal control key. And I'm going to change this to fuzzy brush. A little too large. Yeah, three is about the right size. I want to be really careful around the flower. Whoops. Control Z fixes your sins. That's too much. And let's zoom in again. I'm going to hit the plus key. Just want to get this one little area here. Okay, control key select. See some other areas I missed. Yeah, nobody's going to see that flower. <laughs> what am I? Yeah, that's 100%. Maybe I better redo that. Okay, that looks good. Let's zoom out. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to use Select by Color. And just select the black. And Control puts a little minus mark. Shift adds a little plus mark. I'm going to add an area. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, now we're going to choose the freehand tool. Freehand select and I want to add some more area so hold the shift key and I'm just going to go around capture everything that's got little marching ants by it. Okay, no. Oh, there's one more left. Okay, now we're going to want the remove the center selection. So I'm just going to go around. I'm holding down the control key and click. Alrighty, let's uh, pull in some solid black. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Almost forgot. We want to feather the edges a little bit so they don't look so strong and the pixels don't show up. So select 
feather. And I'm going to take this down to two pixels. Okay, now we can drag in the black. Okay, sometimes it doesn't like dragging colors. Don't know why. But if that doesn't work, the bucket fill tool will. And I'm just going to fill it in. It's going to give everything a good even black color. And there we go for that. I'm going to select none. Now one problem all that editing did really hid the inside of the flower that I wanted. So I'm going to come in here, grab the background, duplicate it, Send that all the way to the top. And what I'm going to add here is what's called a layer mask. There we go. I want this layer completely transparent. I only want just a small bit of it. Oops. Control Z. Put in the wrong, wrong one. Add layer mask. Black full transparency. Add. There we go. Now we're back to the visible layer. Zoom out a little bit, hitting the minus key. It should be good enough. Now we're going to use the blend tool. And we're going to change the shape to radial. That's going to make it gradually shade, gradually go from one picture to the other. And to be on the safe side, you always do a test one. Now look at this black area. Okay, I didn't want that. I sometimes like to show my mistakes. That's how I learn. Control Z. And we're going to swap the foreground background colors. And let's do that again. Won't get anything that might have that yellow cast on it. And you can see pretty good and start to see pretty good into it. Let's see if we can't bring that out a little more. Let's go to screen. Remember the first part we did overlay? We're going to do screen this time because it kind of makes the light colors pop out a little better. Light colors. Okay. This is after. This is before. After. Just for fun, let's see what the original looks like. Okay, this is no editing. This is all of it. It's a little dark around the inside of it, a little darker, but it looks good to me. So let's zoom out. Okay. Now, <laughs> Like I said, for me, playing with photos is almost a drug. <laughs> if 
So it really helps me take my mind off things. So I hope I didn't bore you guys. And remember, the program's free. So anybody can start trying this if you're interested. So enjoy.